Diana Nyad's incredible achievement, swimming more than 100 miles through shark-infested, jellyfish-infested waters from Cuba to Key West. It was her fifth attempt, and it is one of the most incredible athletic feats in history, most incredible moments, period, in history. We are going to talk live to Diana Nyad in just a moment, but first, Gio Benitez has her awe-inspiring story. 64-year-old Diana Nyad climbed out of the ocean and into history. After 53 hours at sea, swimming 110 miles, she fulfilled her lifelong goal, making it from Cuba to Key West at 51 strokes per minute. We should never, ever give up. Nyad is now the first person to swim the strait without a shark cage. Only two people have succeeded, even with the help of a cage. This morning, we're learning more about just how harsh the conditions she endured were. I went through hell. It was difficult to breathe. It was difficult to not keep salt water. In the middle of the night, her lips and tongue swelling, her doctors fearing her airway might close. Her only protection in the water, a specially designed suit and this custom-made mask designed to repel jellyfish, her team feeding her soft, high-calorie food the whole way. Nyad started off a competitive swimmer, becoming an inspirational figure, swimming around Manhattan in 1975. Diane Nyad. She got into the East River at 11.35 a.m. today. But this extreme dream, 36 years in the making. Her first failed attempt back in 1978. She was just 28. Then three more times in the last two years. Every time something went wrong midway, forcing her to painfully abandon the quest. I knew I could do it. And everybody helped me and I just couldn't get there. But this morning, success. You're never too old to chase your dreams. That's right. After extraordinary perseverance. And I want you to think about a grueling, intense 30-minute workout. For Diane and Nyad, this was more like 106 half-hour workouts, Robin. Clearly something she showed she can do. Oh, absolutely. Gio, thank you. And Diana Nyad joins us live now from Key West, Florida. And first of all, congratulations, oh, Diana. Yeah. That was something. <laughs> if Thank anyone, you, Robin, you and crew. I know, we're going to talk about that fabulous crew of yours. If anyone deserved to sleep in, it would be you, but you're up and at them. And we, we first of all have to ask you physically, how are you feeling? How are you doing, Diana? You know, honestly, the worst thing, Robin, is, and I'm glad I can at least speak to you. I love you, by the way. <laughs> um, I've got, I've got um, some real bad lacerations from the seawater and the jellyfish mask. You know, I had to bite onto it, so um, I've got some interior mouth salt water issues, but that, that's really the worst of it. I'm, I'm feeling pretty darn good. Well, you have a lot of people feeling pretty darn good about themselves this morning. It's just, it's amazing how you've inspired the world, really. And it's, it's, it's really interesting, Diana, because you said you were a faster swimmer in your 20s, but that you're stronger now in your 60s. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Yeah, I really do believe that um, endurance grows and also we can never discount in any sport the mental. How many athletes do you know, John McEnroe is one for sure, who say that they wish they could have played at the world class level in their 50s and their 60s because the, the powers of concentration and the perspective of what it all means and what you're capable of are, are infinitely higher at this age than when you're a young 20-something. You said, and we saw you a couple of years ago in one of your attempts, and you were so emotional, and you said, I just wanted to get to that beach. You got to the beach. What was that moment like for you, Diana, yesterday? You know, I also, we saw the lights of Key West in the night, and so we knew we were making it. And I had 15 hours to think 15 hours to stroke and think about this journey. You know, so many people discuss the journey and the destination. Well, as you said, the destination was always my vision of the palm trees and the shore. But the journey, I didn't make it, you know, as, mm -hmm. as, as your reporter just said, for the last few years. And that journey was thrilling. It really was. 
the discovery, the people, the, the looking inside of what you're made of. But to finally get to the destination, um, I'll tell you, I was euphoric yesterday. <laughs> we, we're, we're watching it right now. It was great that you were able to, to hug your good friend, Bonnie Stoll, who's been there uh, from the very beginning with you. But tell us, Diana, you know, there are a lot of people who want to accomplish things, and you're out there. The tough moments. How do you push through those most difficult moments? You know, I decided this year to use a mantra, and I think a lot of people can relate to this in their own lives, whatever they're pushing through. I mean, don't need to tell, don't need to tell you about survival and pushing through the tough moments. And the, the phrase I decided to, to use was, find a way. If something is important to you, then, and it looks impossible and you're up against it, just step back for a minute and say, really? Do I have the resolve to think of every nth degree to get through this? And most times we do. People give up too quickly. And I said that on the beach when I came out. I didn't have much energy for talk for too long. But the first thing I said, I looked around, because those people aren't from the world of swimming. They don't care about the world record. It wasn't an athletic event. It was a moment of human spirit. Amen. And I said to people, never ever give up which is your phrase and frankly i thought that if i had seen an abc camera around somewhere and i i had the wherewithal to notice that i was going to look into it and say robin oh, you know what i'm talking about i do never ever give up there are a lot of people that do you you are a, a great reminder of that diana thank you and i know that the support team it was great how you rallied them even before you came on shore and talked to them out in the water and your navigator and your entire entire team um, you're just full of gratitude and inspiration diana i know we're going to see you soon we got something where i can tell people we got something cooking with you that's going to help a lot of people here in new york in the coming weeks you take we care. do i mean you know mm -hmm. hurricane sandy's about oh go ahead go ahead no, I know, no, 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 see, don't, don't, no, 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 don't, don't give it up yet. We're going to talk about that. We want you to have your moment okay. and enjoy it. And Diana, thank you so much. See you soon. Love you much. Take care. Okay. See you soon. Bye. She really wanted to spill the beans on that, but we're going to, we're going to let everybody. Great. But, that was great. Just, but she, you know what? Uh, it's at the, what she said at the end, sports are so rarely about sports and that moment Yesterday was all about the human condition, yep. and I think we all could find something in it. It was yeah. amazing. It's Indeed. awkward to say athletic feet. No, it no. just goes far beyond that. Yeah, You're human right. feet. Yeah. And I think it's apparent why you two are good friends <laughs> as yeah. well.